All right, welcome to part two. We're going to be putting together our, uh, our Redux for our book search application here. All right, so we're going to actually be doing some coding. So let's get into uh, let's get into some some coding here. So we uh, we created a uh, a search.js file. It's our modules folder here. Again, I'm using the uh, the React Redux starter kit from the first video. All right, so the first thing um, we're going to do here is um, we're going to be importing a, uh, a function from the immutable JS library. If I showed that in the first video, um, please go take a look. Uh, so we're going to be importing from JS, which basically um, it it, uh, it converts a regular JavaScript object into a um, an immutable object. Okay. All right. So the next part we're going to be setting up our constants. So um, we need two constants here. We need one to set the books, and one to set the value of our input box or the query. Right. So, um, set books is basically all the books that we get back from the API, and set query is basically whatever you type into the input, the input field. So, um, let's go ahead and set up those constants. All right. So we're going to set up an export. Let's expose it. A const. Uh, before I continue on, I do want to keep in mind that we are going to be using ES6 JavaScript um, for this video. So, uh, so set books. Set books. All right, and we're going to set up our query. So set query is equal to set underscore query all right so now we have our constants and the uh, the next thing you want to do is we want to set up our actions now so let's go ahead and um, set up our actions so with a react redux application all of our actions all of our state are managed within with with redux itself every single action within the application will be managed within, at least for our application, will be managed within this file right here. All right, so anytime you're building a Redux application, you want to keep in mind that you are, um, every action or event on the website will be stored in Redux, or you can store it in Redux. All right, so in this case, we need um, two actions here, all right, so we need a uh, an action for our uh, our set books. Sorry. Export function. I'm gonna call it set books. And I need to pass in the uh, the books. So I'm just gonna call this books. And we're going to return type. Our action type is going to be set books, which you set up here. Okay. And we're going to pass in the payload. Payload is anything that is passed into the function. In this case, it's books. Okay. Books. Is, when we get it back from the API, it's going to be an array, JSON array of objects. Okay. All right, and now we need a uh, a function. Expose it for the query. So set query. We need to pass in the query. Set query is going to have same thing as above or above for set books it's going to have a type 
which is going to be this guy. Set query. And the payload is going to be query. And that's it. Now, we're going to have another action. We're going to have another action later on. Um, but the thing is, um, th this action is going to be called get books, and that's going to handle all our fetching. We're going to actually add that um, in the next video. That's going to. I want to. I want to break that off. I don't want to do all of that stuff right now. Okay. So we'll put that in the next video. We'll do all our API calls in the next video. Okay. Next, now we need to get our um, action handlers. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and set this up. So const action handlers. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to set up set. Books. We're pretty much setting up our reducers for each of our constants above. Okay. Set books state. Pass in the payload books. Okay. We are using ES6 syntax. Okay, so we're going to be using the arrow function. Alright, and then we're going to return the state. Use the set function. The set function uh, we're going to be using that um, in terms of uh, we're using the set function from the mutable JS library. Okay. So we're going to set query. I'm sorry. Sorry. Books. So we're going to set up a prop in the state called books, and it's going to be an array of objects. Okay. And it's going to be a regular JavaScript array of objects, and we're using immutable JS. Um, so what we need to do is we need to convert that array of objects into a map or a list that contains a bunch of maps. Okay. So a list in immutable JS is an array. That's equivalent in array. A map in immutable JS is equivalent to a regular JavaScript object. Okay. From JS does this automatically, so we're gonna go from JS, which is why we had, um, that's why we imported it above, and we're gonna um, convert books. Okay. And that is it with that. Um, so now we need to set up our next action handler. Um, it needs to be set query. So set query Oops. same as before pass in the state in this case is the search state we're gonna destructure uh, the payload and we're going to pass a value called query Although you could just go payload, but I like I like query more. Arrow function ES6. Again, return state dot set. Again, set using the immutable JS set function. Um, go check out the documentation. Um, I'll put links in the description. Query. And same as before, we want to from JS this guy. The query. Okay. So again, the set function just sets the prop on the state. That's it on the search state. So we're gonna have because the state's pretty much one giant object. So I'm gonna go state. If I wasn't using mobile JS, it would be search dot. In this case, books or search dot query. Um, in this case, because we're using Mutable JS, we're going to be going uh, search using. Um, we're going to go search dot get, 
uh, and then we're going to pass in the query inside the get function. Get just pretty much gets a prop off the state, the immutable JS function. Okay. All right, and the last part before we conclude this video, um, we need to set up our our uh, reducer initial state. So when you get our initial state, we need to set up the reducer and also get the initial state. Sorry, initial state is equal to from JS. It's gonna be an object. So in React. When you're building a React application, you're dealing with this idea, this whole idea of state. Every React application has a state. And each of these, um, when you're creating these like reducers, these, these module files here, um, or I should, I should go back a little bit. Every React application has this initial state and this initial state in this case for us we're defining it here as just a blank object for this particular branch of the state tree the search state tree so we're going to set up as a blank object and let's go ahead and export all this stuff okay so we're going to go export default state I'm going to set it to initial state. Pass in the action. Arrow function. Let's set up a variable called handler. And this is going to take our action handler handlers that we made earlier. It's going to take in the type. Action.type. And it is going to return if there's a handler. If there is a handler, then I want you to go handler uh, state, pass the state and the action. Otherwise, just return the state. Okay. And by the way, if anybody's confused about the um, the question mark, this whole syntax here, ternary operator, I believe that's what it's called. It's just a short way of writing if else statements. That's it. All right. Oh, man, was, that linter is really uh, picky. All right. Um, so that is going to be it for this video here. Um, the next part, we're going to be setting up our um, our um, our get books function to, to grab all the books from the API. All right, so that's the first part. That's the first part of this uh, coding coding portion of this series here. So uh, stay tuned for the next video.